The story of Jonah and the whale is one of the most well-known in the Bible. Now, Jonah was called by God to do something that he did not want to do, was scared to do, or felt inadequate to do. So Jonah ran away. His concept of God did not include omnipresence, omnipotence, or omniscience. He heard the voice of God in his spirit, but in his restricted earthly perception, he believed that all he had to do to quiet that voice was to move away from it. Now here's the rub. Jonah heard God, but he chose to try to ignore that voice by moving away from it. Much like if you lived next to an airport and decided to move away to get away from the noise. But Jonah's case, he had no idea that the airport was everywhere. There was no way he was going to be able to move away from the pleading to his spirit due to where he was. Another way to look at the airport scenario is that if you stayed in that home long enough, you would probably get used to the sound. When I visited Haiti a few years ago, I spent a week in a small village very far away from the big city of Port-au-Prince. There was no electricity or you know any of those kind of things that we consider normal in our daily lives. There were goats, donkeys, cows, chickens, horses, and, and dogs pretty much everywhere. There weren't a lot, but there were enough that they uh, the steady bleats and brays and neighs and moos and barks, they, they all kind of created this backdrop that we sort of got used to as the week moved on. I stopped hearing the animals as their constant presence was ignored by my ears. Our daily activity kept us busy enough that we didn't pay attention to the sound anymore. On the last night, I ended up sleeping on the roof of a building under a mosquito net. It was the coolest spot around, being high enough to, to catch a breeze, and it was just really nice. The breeze really was putting me to sleep, but I wanted to stay awake as long as I could to take in as much of Haiti as I could. To get into true Haitian culture, I was listening to a lot of Wycliffe on my uh, iPod that week. As I laid under the mosquito net, partly praying and partly thanking God for, for the uh, subtle breeze, my, my battery died on my iPod. It was at that moment that the sounds of possibly hundreds of animals spread out over the area came to my ears. I could hear also the sounds of drum circles scattered throughout the area. I was told later that these were Haitians practicing voodoo, and as well, some Christian circles will have drum circles to pray for those practicing voodoo. Had my battery not died and enforced a quiet period in my ears, I would have missed an excellent night of drum music combined with a, a zoo-like animal production, unlike anything I had ever heard. The thing was, I had to get quiet to hear it. The ear of my mind hadn't heard those sounds since early in the week, since my attention was elsewhere. Right here is the lesson. God speaks, not with sound or physical means, but from his spirit to ours. Romans 8.16 says his spirit testifies to our spirit. But if our spirit is compounded with the noise of life and the happenings of our daily existence, we will always miss what God is saying. This is why it is so important to spend dedicated time in prayer and just being quiet before the Lord. But get quiet before God. Depending upon our individual connection to the noise of the world, we may find it difficult to get away and to get still. I once challenged a group of senior high students to sit in a room for several minutes. We just sat in silence. You should have heard the collective gasp of relief when I told them their time was up. We all saw how hard it was, and that gasp was a lesson in and of itself but they all appreciated the time and the end. So try it out and see what you hear. You may find, like Jonah, you have been running from that voice, not physically, but spiritually. Or you may find that the noise of life has drowned out that voice. In either case, it's safe to say that there is a voice there. And I wonder what it'll say to you. Something to pray about, don't you think? Thanks for watching.